And that's basically my story on how I went down on my 1983 Harley Davidson FXR. Yo, what up? Welcome back to the video, guys. It's been a week since my little incident on the FXR. Um, I'm like 85% back to normal. Still have a little pain. Um, still not moving the way uh, I could be if I was 100%. Um, so in this video, I kind of just want to break down exactly what happened, A, just to either help anyone out there avoid if you're in that situation. Um, B, just to bring some clarity because all the keyboard warriors came out and they was like, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that in a little while. But, um, and then C, just because everyone's still asking me what exactly happened in the accident, um, what, what happened? I guess we'll start off with the whole keyboard warrior thing. You guys do not imagine how many people came out and they were like, well, why are you crying on the video? Wow. Oh, so what? You went down. Oh, 2014, I went down and my whole body broke. And look, I didn't make a video about it. Oh, I got hit by a car and this and this happened to me and blah, blah, blah. This video, that video was never intended to me to come on here and cry about nothing because I wasn't. And if you heard me in that video, I was actually more upset about the bike being damaged than whatever little things happened to me, which it, it wasn't nothing major, but I was obviously happy that nothing major came out of it and it, it wasn't as serious as it could have been. Um, so that's, that's one part. Um, number two, this is my channel, so anything motorcycle related, anything that happens to me in my personal life that has to deal with a motorcycle, anything that has to deal with an, an event that I'm attending or whatever it is, anything ha having to do with my bikes or anything that I want to talk about, I bring onto the platform because this is what the platform is for. I'm, I'm here sharing my experience, sharing my, uh, my, my love for my hobby, sharing my love for uh, my bikes and just everything that comes with it. So th this this is the reason why I, I film. This is it's just uh, a little bit of my life caught in a view for you to capture within a few minutes, and you know you you run with it however you want. That's what this channel is about. So simple as that. I me mean, if you don't want to watch uh, any of that, there's there's a hundreds of thousand channels out there. Shut the shit off. Go to the next channel. I can care less if you want to watch or not. Anyways, now that we kind of got that whole negativity out the uh, out the picture, um, I'm gonna give you guys uh, a step-by-step -step on what happened um, that day and that instant um, and what went wrong. And I'll tell you right now, to this day, I, I still can't pinpoint the exact thing that went wrong. There were just so many variables and so many things going on that I just, it could have been this, it could have been that, could have been this. Could have been five different things. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna walk you through it right now. Um, I want your feedback, you let me know what you think might have happened. Now, I also did end up going to the hospital right after I, uh, I recorded that video. Um, got an x-ray. There were no broken bones, no broken ribs. Uh, I'm so happy because I really thought I had a, I had a few cracked ribs because I couldn't breathe. A, the pain was ridiculous. For the two days that passed after that accident, I, I had a really hard time walking. Well, actually, the day after, I, I, I spent the whole day in bed. I couldn't, you know, couldn't really walk that much. I couldn't move around. Um, took a bunch of pills and painkillers and this and that, and then I felt. A lot better in the evening so I was like you know what it's bike night tonight and you know what fuck it I'm gonna ride my bike and I got on my little rider and I got out there um, yeah that, that, I should have done that cuz yeah that that made everything worse the next day I couldn't walk at all I just the pain was unbearable it was even worse just you know you're on your bike and you're compressing your ribs are compressing and it, Jersey Road suck so yeah um, 
But yeah, the day after, I, I was I was on my bike. Yeah, that should have been, but whatever. The doctor basically told me, listen, that there, there's nothing really we can do. The Everything on the inside is super bruised. For now, just ice it up, take Motrin, take Tylenol, and here's a painkiller, and that's, that's it. That's all we can do for you. So I'm on my bike. I'm minding my business, like usual. Uh, dark afternoon here in Jersey. Uh, it wasn't supposed to rain. It starts drizzling as I am getting home. Uh, rain starts to get a little heavier, uh, so the roads are pretty wet. Um, it's fall time, so the leaves are all over the place, all over the roads, um, which is pretty dangerous when it's out raining. Um, I'm literally two minutes down the road from my house and just cruising. Cruising at 25 miles an hour, 20, 25. Um, I have a good distance between me and the car in front of me. I'm gonna say a good 20, 25 feet ahead of me. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not on this guy's ass or anything. Cruising, um, it's raining, the roads are wet, there's leaves all over the place. Out of nowhere, this car just stopped short. There was another car in front of him who I believe also stopped short so they both stopped short um and i'm the type of rider that when i'm riding i don't um i i, I don't just go and grab for the brakes and and that's the first thought that comes to my mind like i kind of like in that little second several little things go through my mind avoiding not hitting Breaking slowly, getting out of the way, like all of that in that short span of time, all went through my mind so fast, and I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good with that stuff. I go ahead and I press my brakes. I apply pressure front brake. I apply pressure rear brake. I'm not grabbing a fistful of brake in the front. It's very evened out. Um, I, I never do that. Um, Remind you, I'm on a really, really old bike, so these bikes do not have anti-lie brakes. Um, this bike has also been leaking, because, hence, FXR. This bike has been leaking for the past week already, uh, so the inner primary seal has been leaking, and the oil has been getting all over the belt and the belt guard, and sometime even at times on the tire as well so that's also another variable right there anyways i'm pressing my brakes applying pressure evenly front and back somehow i i really don't know if it was the front wheel or if it was the back wheel they suddenly lock up the bike just turns um i tried to kind of pop it up that didn't work too well out of nowhere within a, a, a blink of an eye I'm already down on the floor and at that point right when I hit the floor everything slowed down I, I, I literally heard the bike grind away slowly I'm, I'm hearing I'm hearing that that screeching sound slowly just the bike just inching away at the same time I feel my head bounce off the floor and I hear the sound, the scraping sound of my helmet when I hit the floor. Instantly, I get a headache. My neck tenses up. Um, at the same time, I'm hitting the, I'm being slammed on the floor on this whole left side here. My ribs just, I go down like this. Basically, my arms are up here. I get slammed on the floor. Boom. Obviously, all this is exposed already. So when, when I'm going down, since my hands are up here. I'm being thrown with my hands up like this and I'm being slammed on the side right here on my ribs. At the same time, my head smacks the floor. I bounce up, I flip over, I bang my knee on the floor. Um, and instantly I get up. Um, I, I don't know what got into me, I just I got up. Uh, the guy from the rear car gets out. He's like, listen, lay down, lay down, lay down. Are you okay? You should sit down. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, nah, dude, just, just help me get my fucking bike up. That's it. Um, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like in shock at that moment. Um, uh, and, and I feel like I have this crazy strength from all the adrenaline that's just, just pumping through my body at the moment. 
I could have just picked up the bike myself, but it was like, all right, well, just help me pick up the bike. He helped me pick it up. He was a listener. Are you, are you okay? I'm like, yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, I look at the bike. I put the kickstand down. I see that the, the primary is leaking uh, all over the place, but it was because the bike was turned over. Um, then I do a quick walk around of the bike. I see the fairing, the corner, little damage here in the corner, the primary cover, it, little damage. So that, that, that's nothing. And I'm lucky, like I said before, like I always push people to get crash bars. The crash bar saves the bike, man. Because if it wasn't for the crash bar, the whole fairing would have would have broke. It would have been off. It would have been the, the tank would have been all messed up. Um, the this, the whole side of the bike would have would have just been done. Even the bars would have been twisted. It it, it would have been really bad. But the crash bar took all the hit basically, and it just ended up tipping over here in the corner. Very minor work. Um, I already got on the phone with with JL uh, custom paint guy, uh, local guy who. Um, Painting my uh, front fender for my roll glide, so he, he, he's gonna be fixing that for me. And I'm just gonna get another primary cover and put it on. And um, that's it, but let, let, let's really quick, let's go over the variables. The, the rain, the leaves on the road, the bike just locking up, the oil that was dripping out of there. So th those four variables right there all had to kind of do with it and I really just can't pinpoint exactly what exactly went wrong like yes the 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 wheels locked up but I don't know man it, it just it, it, it could have been the oil it could have been like all right well maybe when the bike turned a bit maybe there was a, some oil on the tire and maybe it slipped out maybe they, they it just locked up and it just threw me off um you know obviously the rain and the leaves on the floor did not help whatsoever um but like i said thankfully nothing major happened to me little bumps here and there i got banged up a little nothing crazy there have been there's been hundreds of thousands of people that have gone through worse and not even you know made it through an accident um so this is like a little 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 bruise that we could just make sure it doesn't happen again my first time ever going down um hopefully the last and um what I learned from here, I'm just gonna be extra careful when I'm on this bike, cause I know 100%. If I would have been on my 21 Road Glide or my 20 Low Rider S, that would have never happened, cause the bike would have never <laughs> locked up that way. And um, I, I've been in situations where I, I've, I've kind of caught myself and got out of a situation where I could have gone down, but because I was on either of those bikes, the tech on that bike just helped me, you know. And that's basically my story on how I went down on my 1983 Harley-Davidson FXR. Now, hopefully from this, you guys could uh, take some insight if you are in an old bike and be very, very careful. They do not act or react in any way like any of the newer bikes. Um, you gotta be extra cautious with these bikes. Lesson learned. Um, and yeah, man, I'm just happy there wasn't no huge major damage to the bike and major damage to myself. I was really bummed out about that bike. I literally, I've had this bike for going on two and a half weeks already. So the fact that this happened, it's like, that's what I was like, dude, I just got this bike. Fuck, like, damn, uh, already. Like, I, these bikes are, my other two bikes are pristine, man. And uh, like I said, I was more bothered about the bike having a bit of damage than more of just myself and just, you know, um, that's it. So I, that's why even the next day I was like, you know what, like I'm getting back on my bike. I'm not gonna let this mess around with my confidence or anything. You know, sometimes people, even a little accident, they they get turned off by it. They'll they'll not they'll they'll stay off the bike or a car for a little while. Um, they'll just be a little, you know, scared about everything. And um, no, I I I wanted to just get on my bike the next day and and go, man. Just I just wanna, and that's what I did. Made my pain a lot worse, but it felt good being on that bike the next day. Um, tomorrow, we will be taking this to the shop, fixing our, uh, the primary leak, uh, the seal, fixing that on it, and um, finding a new derby cover for it. And that's it. Then we'll, we'll get this little thing situated here later on. So if you are out there right now, uh, fall weather, and with this 
winter weather coming soon with black ice. Just be extra cautious out there. Be very careful. Pay attention. Uh, make sure you're looking at your bike before you get on it. You're doing your inspections. Uh, you're checking it, you know, for oil leaks and stuff like that, which I will be doing more often now. Um, just take care of yourself, man, and always enjoy your ride. I always, like, always tell you guys, you know what? That's it. It's let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.